So this build right here that I'm fixing to show you is um, my no hope build that I really enjoy using. And I'll show you the cleaner that I use as well and other ideas of other cleaners you can use to go with it. Um, I have just beaten Act 5 and 6 with um, this build slash character on no hope. Um, let me show you what it is. Um, I use Tala for it for a couple of reasons. Um, and this is what I basically call like a DPS build. Um, so I'm trying to throw out a lot of a lot of damage per second with this build. And I, I've used several different builds for No Hope. This is the one that I have the most luck with. So I will show you the cards that I use. Um, and then I will show you perhaps some gameplay with it as well. Um, so make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube, like the video, comment, all that stuff. But first card, Admin Reload, is very simple. When I stow a weapon, it reloads. These two cards together are very important. The second one is two is one and one is done. So that means I can equip two different primary weapons. Now, ideally, I want to have two LMGs. Now, this is a solo build now, okay? So... For me, I'm playing solo, I'm playing with bots. The bots will give me ammo every so often if I run low. So I don't really have to worry about ammo, okay? But I also have um, an ammo card in the deck as well in order to give me more, okay? So admin reload, when I stow a weapon, when I switch weapons, it reloads the weapon that I have switched out from. And then I still have the new weapon to shoot with. Um, next card is Confident Killer, very important card. This is uh, when me or my team kills a mutation... I gain 1% damage until the end of the level, and that stacks up to 15%. So that means if I kill, or if me or my team kill 15 mutations, I'm getting 15% more damage overall as soon as I do that. Hugely, hugely OP card in my opinion. Run Like Hell helps me with mobility. I have two mobility cards here that are pretty important. Um, I get 12% movement speed, 15% sprint speed with Run Like Hell. If I take damage, though, I do use, I lose the benefits of the Run Like Hell. So you got to be careful not to take damage. If you're in no hope and you're taking damage, that's pretty bad anyway. So, um, yeah. Cross Trainers, same kind of deal. It's adding more mobility for me, plus 20% stam, plus 20% stam regen, plus 3% movement speed. And I get five additional health as well. Fill them full of lead is a hugely important card with this deck as well. Now, this means while I am shoot shooting, I am gaining 1% damage, 1% fire rate, and 5% swap speed every 0.25 seconds. Now, the max count that you will see on that buff is 20. So, imagine that. If you are shooting your LMG... That means you can get to 20% damage, 20% fire rate, and 100% swap speed by the end of the buff, okay? Now, you're doing that. You're gaining 115 every quarter second. So, every second, you're gaining 4 damage, 4% 4 damage, 4% 4 fire rate, and 20% swap speed. Every second, right? Insanely, insanely big card. Glass Cannon is huge as well. It gives me more damage, 25% more damage. I do lose 30% health, though. So you're going to want to try to find health-based cards when you are in the game. Um, try to get your health up high. There is no healing in this build, and there's no economy either, but we'll talk about that later. Hyper Focused is an important card for this build because I'm getting 50% more Weak spot damage, which means if I shoot a weak spot and I do 20 damage, it's actually going to give me 30 instead of 20. Huge, huge. I do lose movement speed while I'm shooting or melee attacking. But that's okay because I'm not really moving very quickly anyway. This is going to be kind of a slow-moving, patient, tedious, clear-everything kind of uh, build. Suppressing fire is huge, too. Again, this is LMGs. Damage and Ridden with an LMG or a Sniper has a 40% chance to slow the Ridden near the target by 50% for 5 seconds. I really like this card because that means anytime I shoot something, I have a 40% chance to slow my target by 50%. Okay, which gives me more chances to shoot it before it gets to me. And that's big. Again, so that means you want to have always at least have one LMG in your build. Now, I do kind of mess around with my second gun 
uh, depending on what guns I'm finding in my um, warped chests, which Tyler produces one of those every map. So if I find, like, say, the Pestilence, or not the Pestilence, but the, uh, the SMG, or the Sniper, or, or the Damnation, or something like that, I will use that as my secondary. But I always, always, always have an LMG in this build. At least one. Sometimes two. I will rock two sometimes. Next gun is, uh, next card is Tactical Vest. Gives me 30% more rifle ammo capacity. That includes LMGs, by the way, obviously. And it also adds 10 more percent damage for uh, assault rifles and LMGs. Just more damage, more ammo, more everything when it comes to DPS. Next one is Patient Hunter, same thing. Um, it's increasing my bullet damage every time I aim down sights. I can get three stacks of this. So it's one stack for every 0.75 seconds. So that means in two and a half seconds, I've got 30% more damage when I ADS after three seconds. That's it. So I'm just ADSing. I've got 30% more damage. You start adding up all the damage increases on all of these cards. It's kind of ridiculous how quick you mow things down. Silver bullets. Again, another 10% bullet damage and 15% effective bullet range, which means I'm putting out more damage at a further distance. Ammo Mule helps again with my ammo capacity, so I have two different cards for that. 30% here for rifle ammo, and then I have 75% overall ammo capacity. I do lose a little bit more movement speed from that, but again, that's not important because I'm, uh, I'm going for a tedious build. Cold Brew Coffee is one of my favorite all-around cards in the game because it gives you so many different things when it comes to swap and reload and aim and use and all that stuff. So you get 15% reload, you get 25% aim speed, 25% weapon swap, 25% use speed, all-around really good card. Now this right here is a card that I kind of switch in and out. We talked earlier about economy. So sometimes I need more... Um, I need more throwables to get through a map, whether it's smokes or pipes or, you know, there might be a certain thing that I need to, uh, to get through a map. For a good example is um, the first map on Act 6. It really helps to have smokes for that map when you're running to the boat. You can kind of blow up the two things in the smoke. Everything leaves you alone. It's a little bit easier with that. However, um, I have found that it's probably better overall to um, remove that card and put in um, money grubbers because I just did a playthrough on this and I felt like I was really needing money and I wasn't getting a lot of copper in the game in order to buy more cards that you see scattered throughout the maps so I think I'm, I'm really going to keep um, copper in that uh, or some kind of economy card um, now, the best cleaners for this deck, um, I've already mentioned Tala is the best one just because um, of the additional warped chest. Plus, I really like uh, using uh, the, the whistle, having that extra DPS from my new tall boyfriend. Um, and a lot of times what I'll do is I will restart the map if I don't have a second, uh, one of the bots doesn't have a... Uh, doesn't spawn in with a toolkit because I want to have access to the prepper stashes as well. And now with the latest update where they allow the bots to open the prepper stashes as long as they have a toolkit, that makes a lot of help, gives a lot of help as well. Plus her attacks cause targets to bleed. Now I'm pretty sure that means all targets, like all weapons and everything. I haven't really tested that, but I'm pretty sure that's what that means. Um, I really like Tyla for this build for, for, for that reason. I also like Carly for this for this deck. Uh, just because she can sense the nearby hazards, and she has that use speed, which is so important on certain maps or certain acts. Like Act 1, you really got to have that extra ta uh, that use speed. So depending on the act is what I'm going to change my, my cleaner for. Um, I also like Sharice for this build. Um, I like Sharice for every build, to be fair. I think she's probably the most OP cleaner right now because of the armor she gets. Um, she also gets the 25% uh, trauma resistance, 25% team bolstered health. I think overall she is by far the best current cleaner out there. Um, I also like Holly for this build because she heals one health whenever she kills a Ridden. So there is a lot of problems in the build with healing. Uh, you will struggle to keep health on because you don't have any, uh, you don't have a whole lot of health. 
Uh, you don't have any health cards at all. So she really helps out with that. Every time she gets a kill, she gets one health. Doesn't matter what. She gets one health, one health, one health. So as long as you're killing things with her, then you're in good shape. Plus she has the 25 stamina, 5% team damage resistance. I like those four for this build. Again, Tala, Sharice, Carly, and Holly. I really, really like those four. Now, if you're looking to use this build for, or any build for No Hope for that matter, I think you want to keep resetting until you have Prophet Dan as well um, as one of your bots because of his um, enhanced or, or strange the strange things that happens when you revive cleaners. There's a lot of different buffs you can get whenever somebody gets revived, and you will be reviving a lot on No Hope. Um, so, yeah, that's the build. I call it Tala DPS. You can uh, kind of switch in your own cards that you like to do. Um, let me show you some gameplay on this. And uh, again, if you like the video out there on my YouTube, please like the video. Comment down below what kind of uh, things you would like to see. What cards would be better in this build? What would you replace um, uh, and with what? Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel to see more great content or good content or bad content or decent content. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you guys down the road. Yeah, I am lucky that they're not, but yeah, it's just, it makes it, it makes a really tough map a lot harder, you know what I mean? Oh, very good, Crater. 